Hey everybody, what's up? This is Adam from Say Exotics. Uh, I'm going to bring you a video on all the tranches in the collection. Um, I know some of you have been asking me to do one of these for a long time, so I finally got around to doing it. I'm joined by Louise, who's going to help me. Hi! She's going to help me do uh, some of the filming and shine the light on some of these, because the lighting's quite bad here. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Shine that on there for me. So this first one here is the tea Sturmy. So it's the Goliath Bird Eater. And it's a bit skittish, so I'm a bit hesitant to take the lid off because he will bolt for it. Um, but you can sort of see him here. I'll try and I'll try and see if we can get a better view of him. Shine the light in there for me. There we go. So that's the T-Sturm, he's only a little one. But I won't mess with him too much because he is quite skittish. And he's just in this cool little um, glass sort of tank. Obviously he won't be in that for very long. Um, next we have the Brazilian black and white. So we can get this lid off without him running away because we don't want to be catching spiders, do we? Though? No, we don't. Mum will be terrified. Mummy otherwise. will be terrified, and she'll probably divorce me. Okay, so if the camera focuses, there we go. Again, another small one. Uh, most of them in the collection are quite small. Uh, he just fed last night, so he's not. Um, Gonna be too active, but he's quite cool as well. I like him. Eats everything you throw in there. Really? Yeah. What, including big animals. Yeah, uh, well, not obviously not too big, but you know you can throw a locust in there, and then an hour later throw another one, and it'll eat it. So that's cool. He's quite a greedy one, isn't he? He is a greedy little piggy. Um, over here we have. I'm not gonna go with the um, Latin names um, but this is the Salem ornamental let's get this lid off this is uh, an arboreal species will it jump out? yeah it won't jump out it's probably right at the bottom it is right at the bottom can you shine the light there for me? there it is right at the bottom I find with these ornamentals um, that although you give them um, sort of a tree, sort of a boral setup, they always dig beneath the substrate line and just stay at the bottom. Don't really come up too much. Um, sorry if the lighting's not very really good in here, guys. It's it's not the greatest. I might try and do redo this video when it's a bit sunny. Um, this one here we have. What's this one? This one is oh, okay. So this one is what I actually got today. Um, so this is the OBT. Do you know what OBT stands for, Lou? No, I don't. Do you want to know? Shine the light there for me. So we can see where he is. We probably won't see him, and we probably won't agitate him too much because I don't want him to come flying out at me. As he. Obviously, is an OBT, and I don't want. Stay still there. Don't. There we go. It's only juvenile. It's about a four centimeter leg span. Um, but we don't want to mess with him too much, do we? Because that's not a nice tarantula. It's a tarantula. Yeah, of course it is. Is it like a baby? Yeah, it's a small one. Um, but they're quite aggressive and their bites isn't very nice uh, what do we have here okay so this one is the male regal jumping spider now what I haven't shared with anyone yet is that I did attempt to breed him with the female and he quite quickly decided to um, eat the female not the other way around so he ate her? He jumped on her and just ate her. 
well, he killed her. Oh. Yeah. I'd expect it the other way around, because usually in, in spiders, um, the girly eats the boy after they breed. Oh, so he's a bit aggressive. But he's a, well, yeah, he must have been. They were both fed up quite well. He's hiding in his web. He's made a little web on the lid there, yeah. So he won't That's disturb him good. too much because he's obviously worked hard to build that web and we don't want him to um, get angry. Get angry. Um, I'm going to rush through these guys because it is past Louise's bedtime and she should be in bed. Um, so this is one of my favourites, probably a firm favourite in anyone's collection. Um, it's, what's it called, Lou? A Mexican red knee. This is the Mexican red knee. Um, it's a bit of a hair flicker, so I'm going to be careful. Um, but she's absolutely, or he or she is absolutely stunning. It's a bit of an image, a bit of view, no. Um, she's very fast, so I'm not going to take the lid too much off. But she's quite cool. She's not long molted, she probably molted about a month ago, so she's looking rather nice. And then we have uh, in here, in this big box, we actually have, and I've forgotten my tongs, but we actually have in here the um, centipede. A centipede? Right, so he's under there, can you see him sticking out? Yeah, I can see his antenna. So, if I move that, he's going to bolt, and I don't want to. What then? Pencil. <laughs> Pencil. No, I can move it, but I don't want him to run. But of course, we want to get him out because we want to show everyone, don't we? Yeah. So that's. There he is. Can you shine the light over it. There he is. Wow. So he's not going to bolt. He's staying nice and still for us. Um, you can see them feeding in, in an earlier video, guys. Um, so that's quite cool. Didn't bolt, actually. That's quite surprising. Um, usually he likes to bury in the substrate or he buries underneath the um, water bowl. Buries underneath the water bowl? Yeah, he makes a little hole underneath the water bowl and goes underneath there. Um, but he's decided to hide on that bit of bark for the minute, so that's cool, not a problem. So in here is my salmon pink bird eater. Do they eat birds? Well, they're capable of when they're old enough, they're big enough, they are capable of eating birds. Um, is he a hair flicker? Yep. Yeah. So we've got to be careful. He does um, look a bit spiky. But he's, he's doing really well. He eats everything that goes in there as well. So that's quite cool. Again, he, um, he or she molted a few weeks ago. Um, waiting for another molt because um, his bum's got all bald. <laughs> he looks a bit spiky. Are they actually spiky or is it just hair? It's just hair. So. Um, what they do is, as a line of defence, they flick the hairs. Does it hurt when they flick it? It can be very itchy. Oh. Um, so, in here we have a few uh, scorpions. Um, this one is a, a Borneo long claw, who, by the looks of it, is actually gravid. She's nice and fat. Um, she's refusing her meals. She's got like stripes on her back. Like yeah, it's like little plates, really stretched, really stretched apart. She's so tell me she's, um, you know, she's either molting or. But I know because she's so fat. I know she's she's pregnant. So. Who did she mate with? Well, no one because some scorpions can have. Babies on their own. Babies on their own, yeah. Or, um, because I know, well, she wasn't introduced to a male because where I got her from um, assured me that no male has ever gone in there. And this is another scorpion. This time's a bit bigger. 
bit bigger. So this is a um, Asian forest scorpion. Wow, he's got big snippers. Yeah, big snippers. Big claws. Yeah, so he's quite cool. Again, not sure if it's male or female. Um, Isn't there a way of telling? There probably is, Lou, but I'm not that educated enough on sex and scorpions, I'm afraid. Uh, if anyone does know, they can comment down below, can't they? Yeah. But a pretty scorpion nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Nice simple enclosure. So we can put his hide back on without him getting too upset. Uh, so that's that one. There is a spider that I'm not going to show today because um, they are very deep in the shed and it's an aboral, it's the feather leg baboon. Um, I'll show him next time. So this is quite a cool um, scorpion. I've who's, seen this one on one of your who's videos. Who's actually eating at the moment, so that'd be quite cool to get a shot of it eating. Um, let me find my... I've seen this scorpion on a video of yours, Daddy. Have you? Yes. Right, we, it's very oh, pretty. Let's see, she's actually eating his dinner, so let's see if we can get a good view of him eating some dinner. I've never seen a scorpion eat. So this is the desert hairy, who's got a locust leg in its mouth. You see the leg sticking out? Yeah, <laughs> he's eaten half of that bug. So we won't um, disturb him too much, we'll let him carry on eating. We don't have to spit it out or anything. Um, no. uh, and the last one I'm going to show you today is actually eating his dinner right now as well. This is the Mexican tiger rump. Obviously, he gets its name from um, the tiger markings. He's eating a cricket. On its rump. He's eating a locust, yeah. Let's see if I can turn him around. Oh. Oh. See if I can turn him around to get an, a view. better view. A front on view. Like you have to light up for me. He's got like a pink head. He's quite cool. Very pretty. Very pretty. Again, guys, sorry for the bad lighting and the improvis improvisation of the phone light. Um, but it's very dark outside. I'm doing this video quite late at night. Um, so that's quite cool. So basically, yeah, that's everything um, in the collection, invert-wise. And Louise, wants, do you want to say something? Thank you for watching. Please comment down below. <laughs> there we go please comment down below guys if you'd like to see anything more um, and I hope you enjoyed this video uh, so until next time um, thanks for watching